Hey everybody, Alex the Ployer from Expert Forex and in this video I'm going to show you how to set sell charts and buy charts up as you see on the screen. Now unfortunately I've had to travel uh, from Australia to Johannesburg in South Africa because of a family illness and I'm basically doing this on my laptop but I don't think it will affect the presentation of what I'm going to be doing. This video is the second video in a series so please watch the first video to get a background to the charts that we will be creating. On your screen you can see the first video. There will be a clickable link to this video in the top right hand side of the screen or alternatively use the description and the commentary section to this particular video. And just to remind you this video is only about setting the charts up. I will make another video giving you a few tips on how to use the buy and sell charts. So this is just a technical one. The other thing is that uh, you will be seeing a lot of stuff in this video if you are not that skilled at using MT4 to set up your charts, you might learn quite a lot about MT4 profiles, templates and chart setups in general. So not only for the sell and buy charts, but you'll be able to do a lot more with that. Okay, so let's start on your screen. You can see the, the, the sell and buy charts as I had them in the previous video. So the first thing that I, and this is a fairly new account. If I, if I click on profiles and I go like that, you'll see it's, it's the basic profiles that come with a new account. So what I'm going to do, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new profile. So I click on profiles, I say save as profile and I, I'm going to call this the buy and sell chart profile profile and then I'm going to click OK. Now as you can see at the moment it's set for the default. I'm using the default profile at the moment. If I click here you'll see that name changes to the buy and sell chart profile. Now this is a special profile and I can do whatever I want. Now what I'm going to do there's a whole lot of charts on here um, and to see all the charts let's just uh, tile the windows you can see there's a whole lot of charts there I'm just going to close them all on because I'm going to start from scratch let's just close them all clean up the the profile so the profile is nice and clean now okay now remember we want to do three three charts so I'm going to open three charts of the yen and that's how I do it yen you go over to that, create a new chart, and you open three charts of the yen. So now it's all messy. So you go to window and you tile. All right, so there are our three charts. So what I'm planning to do is make that one the buy, that one the sell, and that one the normal trading chart. So let's start with the normal trading chart. Now, that's pretty ugly, as, as you can see. And uh, what, we, what I then do is I go to properties up there and I select black on white so that already changes the setup and I want the bull candles to have a blue color and I want the bear candles to have a red color more of a classical look um, and I think that will almost do the trick let's just see if I say okay all right so much better uh, I'm just going to increase it and then I'm going to increase it there and then I am going to set it for candles. So we set it for candles. So there we are. There's, there's the more classical and I'm just going to increase it to make it even look better. So there's our more classical chart setup that I've created there. So there, th that's a lot better than what we had before. If you look at that compared to that, that's more uh, 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 meaningful from a trading point of view. Now I am going to condense it a little bit. So uh, all right. So now we have that set up there. Now let's say you want you don't want to do what I've just done over and over again. So we then change. We then save this as a template. So what I do is I right click, I go template, and I'm going to. Now I've already got candles 
that's actually the template that I like. So I'm, you go save, save, and I'm just going to save it over the uh, candles template, and you click save. It says it already exists. Yes, we. we so now I have a template. So if I want to make this chart look like that chart, all I do is I put that and, and there we are. You see, that's the, that's the purpose of a template. You don't have to redo everything over and over again. Okay, so now what we're going to do here is we're going to turn this chart into a cell chart. And the trick about cell charting is we're only interested in the top of the movement of the bars or the candles. In other words, we only want to trace the tops of these candles and bars. Now, to, in order to that, do that, the trick is I go to the moving average, I click on moving average, and I select a period of one. And in this case, I want to trace the highs of the candles. And I'm gonna keep it as white for now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it a little bit heavier. I'm going to make it that third level there and I'm going to click on OK. So now what has happened is that we have a line that is tracing the tops of all of these bars or candles, if you wish. So that is essentially the cell chart that we are interested in but we want to now block out all the, the the mess that's here so in order to do that we need to color change the colors so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go into properties again what we're going to do is we're going to change the background and i'm going to make this a dark green background now we don't want to see the bars so we also have to change the bars to dark green so that it'll make them invisible and I'm going to do all of these. The candles, I don't want to see them. I don't want to see the line graph. And suddenly the bars and the candles disappear. And I'm going to click OK. And now we have the cell chart. And all, all I need to do now is remove the grid. And I click on that and I remove the grid. And there we are. There is the cell chart. So the next step is we, we, this is what we want. So we save this as a template. We go save, save template, and we call this the cell chart template, template, and we save it. So now we have a template for our candles. We have a template, a template for our cell chart. And the next step is to create the buy charts. So that's to cheat. I'm going to load the template of the cell chart on there because that gives us a, a way of doing it. Okay, so there we have, so we have them together. And all I'm going to do now is I click on the moving average, right click on them, and it will give you the moving average properties. Um, uh, one is right, but I don't want to do it on the highs anymore. This one I want to do on the lows and everything's the same so we move and look how it's changed the profile of that chart quite a lot now the only thing that's now missing is we need to change the we i go into properties and i change the colors and i'm going to just change it to a quite a bright blue you can change it to any color you want uh, i'm just for this presentation i'm using a bright blue and um Just change all of that to uh, the blue and we say, clear. and there we are. Now we've got our sell chart here and we have our buy charts there. That's how that is set up. Now remember to do a template so you don't want to copy this over and over again. And you create a template. We you say um, save template and it says, what do you want to call it? And we're going to call this the buy chart template and we save it. So now we've got a sell chart template, we've got a buy sell, buy chart template, and we have a chart. Now, this particular group is, is based on the, the yen. So uh, what I would do now is I'd actually create a profile called buy and sell chart, and I'll name it the yen. So we go into profile, 
we say save profile and we say buy and sell chart USD yen. So this is this profile will be specific to the yen currency and I save that and when I save that the name again will ch of the profile will change and as I've saved it there you can see it's now become a uh, USD yen profile so now this is a very specific profile for the yen now obviously you can also change the time frame so if I want to change the time frames so I just click on the chart and change the time frames like that like that and like that and there they are the four hour time frame. so it's handy to have these profiles as you'd like them now let's say we want to now create uh, the same profile for the euro now this is so easy because what you do is the first step you do is you go and you say save profile buy and sell chart I'm going to leave the word chart out I'm just going to put Euro USD and quite honestly you can name them anything you want as long as you can control them and I'm going to save this so now the profile is called the USD now how do we change the uh, currencies all I do is I go into the market watch there it comes down and all I do is I you see the euro I just drag it onto the chart and it changes it to the euro drag it onto the chart and it changes to the drag it on and it changes to the, and obviously you can see the euros on a big slide downwards looks like they didn't like the British exit and uh, the market didn't and there I now have a profile for the buy and sell hero so let's say I want to go back to the yen so I just go where's the yen there it is there's the yen let's say I want to go to the euro there's the euro so that's how profiles templates and buy charts and candle charts and sell charts can be set up really easy quick uh, just follow what I've done once you've done one or two the next ones will become so much faster so much easier and you can start setting up any types of profiles that you want but this specific specific video was about setting up buy and sell charts candle charts and profiles and templates that you can use to trade the buy charts and sell charts. As I said earlier, in a future video, I will give you more tips and ideas on how to actually do the trades. So from me, Alex Aproy, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you've learned something about how you can manage MT4. You can do these things on most other platforms too. MT4 is a nice one I know pretty well and that's why I've used it today. Also if you have any questions, comments, remarks about this process please just use the YouTube comments facilities to ask any questions, make any remarks and I will respond to those. From me Alex Deploy, cheerio.